Hi, I'm Adrian Gruberg, founder of the Caregiver Space. As the sole caregiver for my husband and mother-in-law, feelings of isolation and the need for connection so common among caregivers set in. You probably know what I'm talking about since isolation is one of our number one complaints. I began looking for people who were sharing my experience on disease-specific sites. I found chat rooms and bulletin boards that served me well, but people I was in contact with were strangers and I never got the feeling of connection that I was looking for. Finally, during one of my usual scrolling sessions through caregiver questions and answers, I found one woman, a regular contributor to a caregiver message board, who consistently discussed caregiver issues and personal gripes and language that spoke to me. This particular site had mailboxes, so I wrote Lynn, we'll call her Lynn anyway, and I proposed that we become pen pals. What did we have to lose? She thought it was a great idea. Lynn lived in Texas and stopped working a while before her husband was diagnosed with cancer. They both had children from previous marriages, but the kids had conveniently vanished except for the short visit every now and then when they'd bring the grandkids by. But she got no help, despite the fact that the families lived near to them. I don't have kids, but that didn't mean that I couldn't relate to what she was going through. We volunteered advice to each other. We wrote about gardening and other ways we spent all of our free time. Though we both loved our husbands dearly, there were emails that were just bitching and moaning. But we could get pretty deep, really, and down the line, we began to write about what our lives would be like when we became widows, because we both knew that that was the inevitable conclusion to our caregiving experience. We each held the other's hand as we went through the various stages of loss and made our husband's death as comfortable as possible for them and for us. Because this kind of writing back and forth worked so well for me, we're instituting a pen pal program at the caregiver space. We'll match you with another caregiver for one-on-one -on -one supportive email correspondence. This is being designed for people who would like to correspond with one person consistently and hopefully form a lasting friendship. Through personal experience, I've found that despite what may appear on paper as someone you don't particularly relate to, and connecting with someone turns out to be well worth the effort of sticking with it for the time it takes to get to know your pen pal. And it's time well spent. Remember, you have your experiences to share as well. I firmly believe that we all have a lot to learn from each other and that differences make for interesting relationships. The Caregiver Space aims to provide a safe environment for all of you. On our site, you will be directed to the registration page to begin the process of connecting with a pen pal. We'll be providing you with tips to help you get the most out of your correspondence from time to time. You'll see that if you give it a chance and don't jump to conclusions, you'll find there's usually a worthwhile connection to be made. The whole program will work much better if you can be a free thinker, which means putting aside what you envision your ideal person to be like and give your pen pal a chance. Focusing on your differences can interfere with being a great pen pal. So head over to our site now and fill out the registration form. My correspondence with Lynn was easily one of the most rewarding relationships of my life. There were weeks we wrote daily and there were weeks we didn't write at all because of what we were each going through. We sometimes wrote pages and pages and sometimes just a supportive sentence. We quickly came to care deeply about each other. That's why I encourage all of you to be open to the idea of letting someone in someone going through experiences you have in common. Your pen pal can be a great source of comfort and support. I strongly encourage you to re register today.